what is mean by enterprise structure why enterprise structure what is the purpose of enterprise structure let's see uh, proper manner basically <laughs> i am not feeling well even though but uh, let it be <clears throat> so everyone for example try to understand the terminology everyone try to understand the terminology for example for example the enterprise structure means it is like a organization how look like organization example hey sam why why you recording i am requesting huh i am requesting don't uh, not required okay okay Peter, you can join tomorrow, okay? please. You can exit. Everyone, concentrate everyone. Listen careful, everyone. Listen careful. Enterprise structure or organization structure. For example, everyone, I will tell you, first one, first what you people want to understand, let, let's concentrate here, uh, Tata group of company, let it be Tata group of company, Tata group of company, and uh, under the Tata group of company, we have Tata Steel's and Tata Cement and uh, we have Tata Steels, Tata Steels, Private Limited and uh, Tata Motors and Tata Motors Limited and uh, Tata Cement cement so what is this this is called group of company the first one is called group of company the second one is called individual companies second one is called individual companies cement private limited so the first one is called group of company and the second one is called individual companies second one is called individual companies so what you people want to understand here, same way, example, Reliance Group of Company, Reliance Group of Company. Under the Reliance Group of Company, we have multiple individual companies like Reliance, uh, Reliance Communications Limited, Reliance uh, Petroleum Private Limited, Reliance Some uh, Insurance Limited. So under group of company, we have multiple, one or more individual companies. One or more individual companies. Same to same way, same to same way, we have one client. We have one client. The client name is called RM group of company. RM group of company. What is the client name? Client name is called RM group of company. Under the RM group of company, we have two individual companies. Two individual companies. What is that? Example. Example, RM Steels Private Limited. RM Steels Private Limited. Then RM Cement Limited, RM Cement Limited, Cement Limited, RM Cement Limited. RM Cement Limited. So what, what you people understand? This is called group of company. In the non-SAP system, in the non-SAP, 
non sap we are called group of company we are called group of company in the sap in the sap in the sap we are called just company we are called just for the company in the non sap we are called as a group of company company for example everyone uh, in english we are called as a water in telugu we are called as a manchneelu in hindi we are called as a pani like that but objective is same same way here in the non sap general accounting terminology we are called as a group of company in the sap simply we are called as a company in the non sap here we are called as a individual companies in the non sap here we are called as a individual companies then in the sap we are called as a company code what we are called here company code just try to understand uh, terminology everyone try to understand terminology everyone concentrate here my dear students try to understand terminology what is meant by company code company code means individual companies company means group of company company means group of company so under this company even we have branches under this company we have branches example everyone we have branches example uh, hyderabad branch hyderabad branch and uh, mumbai branch mumbai branch and uh, pune branch and uh, like you know bengaluru branch bengaluru branch like so on so this branch maybe you can use both company codes in case if you want in case if you want you can use both company codes company code means individual company so in the non sap terminology we are called as a branches in the sap terminology we are called business area business area means what business area means business area means what everyone business area means branches here we are called as a business area here we are called as a branches we are called as a hyderabad business area mumbai business area pune business area bengaluru business area business area nothing but branches company code uh, rm steels company code rm cement company code company code means individual company and uh, here rm group of company group of company means here we are called as a simply we are called as a company simply we are called as a company then under this individual companies even we are called as a departments everyone in your organization we are called as a departments yes or no do you observe departments example finance department finance department hr department hr department sales department then uh, purchase department purchase department then uh, you know uh, some other departments admin department admin department some x y z blah 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 x y z so here in the non in example in the non sap terminology general accounting terminology we are called as a department here we are called as a department in the sap terminology in sap fi in sap fi terminology we are called as a functional area what we are called we are called as a functional area 
functional area functional area nothing but department finance functional area hr functional area sales functional area purchase functional area admin functional area functional area nothing but department business area nothing but branches company code company code nothing but individual company company nothing but group of company for example everyone same way for example objective is same objective is same in english we are called as a water in telugu we are called as a manchinillu uh, in Eng i mean in hindi we are called as a pani in tamil we are called as a tanni but objective is same objective is same but we have different need to understand the terminology if you joined any company if you joined any company you speak with sap terminology you want to discuss with sap terminology don't call individual company you want to call as a company code don't call branches you want to call as a business area don't call department you want to call as a functional area then apart from this what you observe everyone first group of company next individual companies next branches next department in your company what you observe everyone anyone in your company what you observe so you are working some other companies now what you observe anyone anyone any other things you observe are able to hear my voice yes no okay yes sir yes you are hearing okay for example yes, everyone now oh, ah very good we are called as a segments we are we are observing the segments everyone good very good for example for example everyone let it be here we are observe in the cement my mouse is here we are observe here here we can observe rm rm steel sheet segment and rm steel rod segment segment and here here everyone in the cement side even in the cement side also we have the segments steel and cement side also we have the segments example example rm opp segment rm opp cement segment and rm ppp segment cement segment cement segment so in the yes non sap terminology we are called as a segment non sap terminology we are called as a segment in the sap terminology also sap terminology also we are called as a segment here also we are called segment there also we are called segment there also we are called segment segment so everyone some more things will come during the sap explanation i will tell you it will come uh, controlling area i mean uh, controlling credit controlling area consolidation business area fm area some more things will come during the explanation i will do first initially you can understood this initially you can understood this first one is called group of company next one is called individual companies then later we are creating branches later we are creating departments later we are creating segments later some more things will come so this is called company enterprise structure you can take any company every company look like company organizational structure or enterprise structure everyone are you following everyone yes no okay yes no yes, yes sir. sir yes sir yes 
So can you please note it down, everyone? Please note it down, better. So these things we want to create in the SAP. This thing we want to create in the SAP. How to create in the SAP? Madhumati, ma'am, joined up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for joining. Madhavi, ma'am, joined up. Huh? Madhavi. Yeah. Madhavi, are you there? He is not there. Madhavi, are you able to hear my voice? Yes, no? Okay. Check your mic, maybe. Then everyone noted, yes, no? Can I go down? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Done? Completed? Yes, no? Yes. 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 yes, sir. So, note it on one note, everyone. First one. Put the heading of company. Note it on one note. Put the heading of company. Note it on one note. Company means... Company means group of company, group of company, note it down clearly everyone, note it down clearly, company means group of company. It is highest hierarchy in it is highest hierarchy hierarchy highest hierarchy in SAP FI enterprise structure. SAP FI enterprise structure. Next line, note it down. Company consists of company consists of 
one or more company codes. Company consists of one or more company codes. One or more company codes. One or more company codes. Everyone, listen carefully, everyone. Now my target is, listen, listen carefully, everyone, listen. Now my target is, I want to create one company. Company name is called RM Group of Group of Company. It is located in Amir Pet, Hyderabad, India. Pin code five triple zero eighty nine. Blah 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 X Y Z. Blah 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 X Y Z. So I want to create this on SAP. How to create this? How to create this in SAP? So my dear students, for every transaction, there is a one path and there is a one T code. We already discussed in yesterday how to check the path and how to check the T code. So first target, first target is how to create RM group of company. How to create RM group of company. So my dear students, now this is SAP home screen. We are called as a SAP easy access screen. Now let's go to here, type here SPRO, enter. SAP Reference IMG Implementation Guide. Select here Enterprise Structure, Definition, Financial Accounting, and Define Company. This is the path. Enterprise Structure, Definition, Financial Accounting, and Define Company. So how I can see the T-code? Anyone? How I can see the T-code? Additional information. Additional information. Additional information. Very good. So last four digit is the typo. OX15. OX15. So this is the path. Enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, and defined company. Here you want to ask one, one question. Sir, you gave only one line of definition. What is meant by company? But I want to understand more. What is meant by company? Why company? What is the purpose of company? I need to analyze more before going to create the company. Before going to create the company. I want to analyze more. Then what can I do? Everyone. There is one document, everyone. There is one document here. If you want to understand more information about company, just go through this document. No, sir, we understood company. I want to create the company. Just double click on this execute button. For example, if you want to understand company, double click on this document. So this document can explain more information, more, more, more. So whenever you have the time, just go through this. Just go through this. What is meant by company? Why company? What is the purpose of company? Then blah, 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 X, Y, Z, it will. Uh, better, um, can you please note it down, everyone? From here, can you please note it down? From here, you can note it down. The company is organizational unit. Note it down this. First, second, and third line. First line, you can write from here. The company is, you can write from here. The company is, note it down. The company is organizational unit in the accounting. First to pair, you can note it down. Start from the, the company. Please note it down.
So in case if you want to understand, you can go through all the things. Okay, somebody joined uh, Lucky Milky. Who is he? My dear students. Sir, I'm changing my name. Pratibha. Please, ma'am. Please. My dear students, please join your names, everyone. So otherwise, we are unable to recognize you. Please, everyone. Done. Noted. The company is an organizational unit in accounting that allows you to organize your entries. Sorry, enterprise to meet central legal requirements in country and region. Noted, everyone. Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, yes. So now here my target is. For example, you want to create the company. So if you want to, I mean, before creating the company if you want to understand more just go through this document no sir i understood how to create so here set up here 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 you just double click on this execute button double click on this execute button click on your new entry here you can going to create here you can going to create then I, i'm going back i'm not creating now for otherwise, if you come to through path, everyone, if you come to through path, enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, and defined company, either you can come through T code also, OX15. Go back, back to SAP Easy Access screen, back to SAP Easy Access screen, and here you can use the T code, OX15, press enter, enter, click on your new entry. Here you can create. Either you can go through T code, either you can go through path. So, in case if you want to go through path, here use slash and go back, slash and go back to SAP Easy Access screen. We are called as a home screen, slash and. And what is the path? SPRO, enter, SAP reference IMG. Tell me, everyone, can anyone tell me what is the path? Enterprise structure. Yeah. Enterprise structure. Click on this arrow. Small arrow is here. Na? Click on this arrow. Enterprise structure. Definition. 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 Financial accounting. Financial accounting. Financial accounting. Defined company. Defined company. Defined company. So if you want to understand, you just click on this document. If you want to create, double click on this execute button. Everyone, <laughs> concentrate here. You just double click on this execute button. Click on your new entry. Go on mute, everyone. Go on mute. Click on your new entry. Here, company name. Company name means RM Group of Company. RM Group of Company. RM Group of Company here. Then company means here. Here you can set up up to six digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Sir, why I want to set up up to six digit? It is identification of your company. You can set up any up to six digit, maybe up to five digit. But don't be any duplicate. Don't be any duplicate. You can set up up to five digit, maybe six also can allow up to six digit. Any, any, you can set up, it may be numerical or it may be alphabets, but don't be any duplicate. Example, I'm set up here, RMGOC. So what is this RMGOC? Is this standard? It is not a standard. You can set up any, but whatever you are set up here, this is identification of your company. In the future, wherever you want to use, wherever you want to use, you don't want to use RM group of company. Simply you can use RM GOC like that. RM GOC, whatever things you are going to set up here now, that thing you can use. That thing you can use. 
for example for example everyone uh, my name is punnam venkateshwar lu my full name but simply some people called as a punnam venkat that is my ad- identification even my friends my college friends and school friends simply they are called as a venki like that venki yes pinky <laughs> like that so that what is that that is my identity same way set up your up to six digit it may be numerical or it may be alphabets for the identification of your company then what is the address address is amir pet and post box number 530089 and postal code then city hyderabad country india in country india in language english en currency inr currency inr note it down one note everyone note it down one note note it down one note everyone please note it down during the company creation during the company creation during the company creation whatever currency you set up or whatever currency you set up whatever currency you set up that currency is that currency is global currency of specific group of company or specific company specific company anyone please read the note anyone what is meant by this during the company creation whatever currency you set up that currency is global currency of a specific company or a specific group of companies both are same madam group of company company both are same okay during the company creation whatever currency you set up that currency is called global currency of specific company okay so we are called as a global currency for example rm group of company global currency is what inr for example my go on mute madam go on mute please for example my company located in my group of company my group of company located in america so here i maintain usd my group of company located in singapore here i maintain sgd so whatever currency you set up here that currency is called global currency of specific group of company then click on your save click on your save here you can save any tr everyone in the practicing system no problem you can save any tr but in the in the working company you need to save in the specific tr in the practicing system you can save any tr problem click on here save and one step back for example everyone do one thing so sir i created company yes i created company for example for example in this year in this year my company is amir pet maybe next year i changed my location amir pet to sr nagar is this possible to change the address sometimes we are going to change our address yes or no agree or not yes or no yes yes, sir. yes. then i want yes, to change the address right this year i am in amir pet 
maybe next year I change my address. Amir paid to Madapu. So how, how to change the address? Very, 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 very simple. Very, very simple. So come to same path, come to same path. Double click on this execute button. Click on your position. What is that up to six digit, whatever I set up now? What is that? What is my identification? RMGOC, press enter. In case if you are not remember my RMGOC like that, here click on your browse. Here click on your browse. All the group of companies will come. You can select whatever you want. For example, what is my RMG, RMGOC, press enter, enter. And uh, I'm repeating once again for my satisfaction. And concentrate here, concentrate here, my dear students. Double click on this execute button. Double click on this execute button. Click on your position. Here you can type RM, GOC, press enter. So you can go to specific company and double click on this RM, GOC, double click on this. So here you can change. Here you can change. Except this identification. You can change anything. You can change anything. After changing, click on your save. That's it. Clear? Clear so far? Any questions? Questions, please? No, sir. No questions, sir, madam. Very good. Next one. Next one. I want to create company codes. I want to create company codes. What is meant by company code? What is meant by company code? Let's create the company codes. So my dear students, for example, for example, everyone, for example, let it be under my group of company, Example, under my group of company, I can, I can uh, make, I will make three sets of financial statements, three sets of financial statements. For example, RM Steels Private Limited, RM Cement Limited, then RM uh, Insurance Limited. RM Insurance Limited. RM or Insurance Limited. Means I created three company codes. It means in the end of the year, end of the year, I can going to I can going to generate three sets of financial statements. For example, I am creating two company codes. Example, I am creating two company codes. What is mean by this? It means I am creating in the end of the year, I am creating two sets of financial statements. What is mean by financial statements? Financial statement means example, profit and loss account and balance sheet. Profit and loss account and balance sheet for RM Steels Private Limited, Profit and loss account and balance sheet for RM Cement Limited. In case if you have one more individual company, then for that purpose also, we are going to create profit and loss account and balance sheet. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Note it on one note. Note it on one note. Company code, company code is, company code is, note it down clearly everyone, company code is, company code is, smallest legal entity. Smallest legal entity. Uh, 
company code is smallest legal entity. Smallest legal entity. At the end of the year, at the end of the year, for each company code, for each company code, we will generate the financial statements. One second, everyone, I will have some water. For each company code, we will generate financial statements. We will generate financial statements. Next line, note it down. Next line, note it down. Let it be put the charging of my system. Everyone, next line, note it down. For all type of accounting entries, all type of accounting entries, example, GL accounting entries, vendor accounting entry, customer accounting entry, asset accounting entry, bank accounting entry, like that. For all type of accounting entries, we can post at company code level. Or we can post specific company code like that. Whatever you can, you can. Company code means individual company. Example, you can note some more point here. And uh, tell me the path, everyone, for enterprise structure. Tell me the path, anyone? SPRO. SPRO. SAP reference IMG. SAP reference IMG. Enterprise structure. So, enterprise structure. Definition. Definition. Financial Finance. accounting. Very Defined good. company. Defined company is done. Now we are discussing company code. Yeah, now we are discussing company code. So, for example, if you want to create company code, click on here this execute button. If you want to understand the company code, double click on this document. You just double click on this document. Um, can you can you please uh, write this uh, first pair everyone uh, first three lines you can note it down the company code is organizational unit in the accounting it is used to structure in the business from financial accounting perspective note it down first three lines start from the company code here here the company code is start from here. Whenever you have time, just go through all the information, okay? Everyone, did you arrange server access, everyone? Yes, no? Yes. 
yes yes sir yeah yes sir yeah so now you are in this initial stage na it will take some time to understand we are going to very slowly but after some days something will going to fast like that okay be be bear with me so don't feel bored okay uh done noted everyone yes sir yes sir can you please can you please read the note madam remaining people check it out what is meant by company code anyone please read company code company code is smallest legal entity at the end of the year we will generate the financial reports for all type of accounting entries we can post at company code level there is a police stop madam police stop come on uh the next see, one there is a there is a difference madam financial statements we will generate for each company code full stop and the next line all accounting entry postings we will post at company code level like that okay ma'am okay okay, yeah. okay company yeah. code is smallest legal entity at the at at end of the year we will generate the financial reports till there one sentence right okay for all type of accounting entries we can post at company code level yeah next the company code is an organizational unit used in accounting it is used to structure the business from from a financial accounting perspective perspective everyone whenever you have time just to open read remaining things also for more understanding so my dear students so example example everyone concentrate here now i want to create now i want to create here i want to create example i want to create um rm rm steel private limited maybe during your practice rm is not available you can take tm group of company vm group of company then a1 group of company like that you can take one group of company okay and, and uh, so here i want to create rm steels private limited and it is located at uh, balaji nagar and uh, tirupati uh, pin code 530018 it is located at india then one more one more is rm example rm uh, cement limited uh, located in sri ram street street vijag 530069 india india everyone concentrate everyone here i will tell you one thing everyone here i will tell you one thing let's concentrate here i will tell you one thing everyone my group of company example my group of company means my head office my all higher authorities my ceo my director sitting in example my head office sitting in rm example example i am telling rm group of group of company located in usa located in usa and uh, example i am telling and uh, in this group of company we have two companies example one is rm rm steels private limited located in india one is for india and uh, rm cement limited located in singapore example located in singapore for example hari krishna for example everyone listen carefully everyone for example my dear students
for example in usa which currency we can use everyone in usa which currency you can use USD. it is what usd usd it means usd is the global currency of rm group of company and uh, india which currency you can use inr 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 so inr is local currency of rm steels private limited inr is local currency of rm steels private limited so here for the rm steels private limited we will post accounting entries we will generate the reports and uh, even rm cement limited located in singapore so what currency here sgd yes gd yes gd actually it is called yes gd singapore dollar yes gd so yes gd is local currency of rm cement limited inr is local currency of rm steel private limited usd is global currency of rm group of company why because my head office my all uh, ceo directors all investments going from there so for their business expanding one company located in uh, singapore one company located in india so all accounting entry postings we will post at company code level financial statements we will generate at company code level of course but their group of company they will look into all the reports for their currencies also okay uh so for in my case in my case what happened in my case what happened my group of company in located in india my individual company is also located in india my global currency is inr my local currency also inr it depends it depends okay note it on one note everyone note it on one note for your understanding note it on one note Note it on one note. Note it on. During the company code creation, during the company code creation, whatever currency you set up, whatever currency you set up that currency is called that currency is called local currency of local currency of specific company code everyone are you writing my dear students yes no yes sir yes sir yes sir Sandhya ma'am joined us. San Ashok joined us. Ashok. Uh, yeah. Ashok. Yes, sir. Sandhya ma'am. Okay. Yes, sir. And what about Dina? Dina joined us. Dina. Dina Shekhar, right? Yes, sir. I joined. And uh, following, following, my dear friend. Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh. Yes, sir. yeah so everyone concentrate now i want to create now i want to create rm steels private limited rm cement limited 
आर एम स्टील प्राइवेट लिमिटेड बालाजी नगर इन तिरुपति एंड इट इज श्रीराम श्रीराम स्ट्रीट इन वैजाग लाइक दैट आई नीड टू क्रिएट दिस ओके देन हाउ यू कैन गो इन टू क्रिएट वेरी सिंपल एवरी वन एस इज वेरी ईजी ओके बट समथिंग इज ले हाउ टू क्रिएट कंपनी सॉरी हाउ टू क्रिएट कंपनी कोड एग्जाम्पल गो टू दाथ एस पी आर ओ एंटर एस ए पी रेफरेंस आई एम जी सेलेक्ट इयर एंटरप्राइज स्ट्रक्चर डेफिनेशन फिनाशियल अकाउंटिंग इयर डिफाइंड कंपनी यू जस्ट डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस एक्सिक्यूट बटन इन केस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर सो यू जस्ट डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस डॉक्यूमेंट नो सर वी अंडरस्टूड वेल देन आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट वाट कैन आई डू सो जस्ट डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस एक्सिक्यूट बटन Sir, I want to see the T code. Sir, what is the T code? How we can see additional information, additional information, display keys, and IMG activities. The last four digits is the T code. O X zero two like that. So you just uh, this is the path, and this is the T code. And you just double click on this execute button. Double click on this execute button. Double click on edit company code. and click on your uh, new entry click on your new entry and here everyone concentrate here everyone set up here any four digit it may be numerical or it may be alphabets and uh, for example i am set up here rm let it be i am set up here rm double one and here R M Steels Private Limited guys first listen don't practice listen listen okay and uh, city Tirupati and country India currency I N R here here everyone my dear students concentrate here here currency I N R so during the company code creation during the Company code creation. Whatever currency you set up here, that currency is called. That currency is called local currency of specific company code. And here, language English. And click on your save. If you click on your save, one pop up will come. Here you want to enter complete address. Complete address of specific company for specific company code whatever for example here it is uh, rm example rm steels private limited private limited such term set up here any four digit rm double one address street बालाजी नगर हाउस नंबर सिक्स सेवन फाइव सिक्स वन फोर फाइव ट्रिबुल जीरो एट जीरो तिरुपति कंट्री इंडिया रीजनल ऑप्शनल देन हियर पोस्ट बॉक्स नंबर एंड पोस्टल कोड देन हियर यू कैन एंटर ऑल द डिटेल्स एवरीवन Like you are RM Steels Private Limited, telephonic number, mobile number, fax number. You can enter all the details. Then click on your OK, OK. Then save. You can save any TR, everyone. Why? Because all the students using in same user ID for SAP, King or like that. You can save any TR, no problem. Guys, whenever I am explaining the class, don't open the server. If you open the server now, so my system will face the issue. Don't open the server. Listen the class carefully, please, everyone. Don't if you are if you somebody open, please close. Listen the class. That's it. During the explanation, simply listen. If, if you listen now, then automatically you will remember. If you properly listen the class now, you will automatically remember everyone. So click on your save and back. So I'm repeating one second. I'm repeating one second. One more. One more company. I'm repeating. Everyone, listen. Listen careful. I'm repeating. So go to example S P R O. Enter. 
SAP reference IMG, select your enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, here company code. Double click on this execute button. Click on your edit company code here, here. Edit company code. Click on your new entry here. RM12, I'm giving one two. RM Cement Limited. It is City Vizag. Right, city Vizag, Country India, Currency INA, Language English. If you click on your save, one pop up will come. Here you can enter the address. And uh, here, uh, uh, for example, RM RM Cement Limited. Such term RM one two address uh, here Sri Ram Street. Sri Ram Street, whatever. It's my system is breaking. One second. House number four three two one one two five three four zero ninety. Uh, city Vijay, uh, country India, and here post box number, postal code, and here you can enter all the details. Blah 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 blah. So we click on your OK and save. So guys, listen the carefully. Don't open SAP server. Just listen, that's it. Okay, data was saved. In case everyone, in case if you want to change the future, in case in the future, if you want to change the company code, how to change? Again, same path, double click on this execute button, double click on edit company code, here, click on your position, go to your company code. Example, RM uh, double one. So here, RM double one. Double click on this, double click on this. So all the things will come. You, if you want to change, you can change. And if you click on this one, address details. Here, if you want to change anything in the, you can change in the future whenever you want. Okay, maximum, some address will going to change. Phone numbers will going to change. Email IDs will going to change. Company email ID sometime going to change. Phone number will going to change. Address will going to change sometimes. So that time the people will come and change here. Okay, in case change, click on yes save. Okay, questions, questions please. First, my dear students, first we want to create. Later, we want to map. Later, uh, we want to create master data. Later, we want to post accounting entries. Later, we want to generate the reports. So everything won't cover one day. So it is step by step, step by step, step by step process. First, whatever I'm explaining, you can understood that. So today on WhatsApp group, I will share you practice material also for enterprise structure. Yeah, you can practice this. Remaining steps we'll see tomorrow. Okay, clear so far? Clear everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Thank yes, you. Sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.